In my last video, I showed you how I made these cable-driven blast gates, which allow me to open and close them even though they're mounted up by the ceiling. And in this video, I want to show you how I put together another one, a little bit smaller. This one's designed for two inch pipe instead of four inch pipe like my main ones. And this will be for plumbing in my table saw overarm dust collection into the main line. And that way I can turn it on and off independently since I don't always use the overarm dust collection when I'm using the table saw. And lastly, I'll show you how I added a remote control for my dust collector so I can turn it on and off from a remote. I won't go into too much detail on the design of these blast gates in this video since I already covered that in my previous video on the 4 inch blast gates. So if you're interested in learning more about these, I'll leave a link in the description for that video that you can check out. These are designed essentially the same as the previous versions where the two flanges have been 3D printed and on one side of the flange there are nuts that are embedded and on the other side there are three through holes and these get sandwiched together with a couple of blocks of plywood with two pieces of tape one on each side to make these a little bit thicker than the gate that slides in between them and that allows it to slide back and forth and that gets clamped together with these bolts On this side of the blast gate, there are two more 3D printed parts, and these are the cable guides that help organize the cables. And they just install through one of these bolts and are held in place with an additional screw. Helps to put the right one in the right place. The gate itself just slides in nice and freely and it's held in place with the two end plates. And on each of the end plates are a couple of holes and slots where the cables will be inserted in through the cable guides. That covers the blast gate portion of it. So now we can go ahead and put together the handle. The handle is essentially comprised of four components. There's the base and a axle that the main handle spins on. The handle is basically a pulley with a groove cut in it and some clamping bolts that will clamp onto the cable. That goes over the pivot point and allows the handle to rotate. Then the cables are fed in through the back and attached with the clamping bolts.
With the cables attached, I can go ahead and add the top cover and screw that in place. How cool is that? I want to mount my new lever right on top of my existing one and I'll just do that with a couple of screws through the back of the housing. To get this end of the blast gate mounted to the four inch pipe up there, I 3D printed this adapter. And this has the four inch pipe diameter on the outside and fits up against like this. So I can attach this with some screws and silicone to seal that up. And then this pipe here fits the two inch ABS pipe just nicely. And that way I'll be able to get this connected to the four inch pipe. Now that I've got remote controlled blast gates over here, I wanted to add a remote control switch to the dust collector so that I can also turn it on and off from over here. So I just picked this up at the local hardware store and it's just a remote controlled outlet essentially. So I plug the dust collector into here and then this into the wall. And this little box is controlled with a little radio remote and allows me to turn on and off this outlet with the remote. And this particular one comes with three different outlets, but right now I'm only going to be using the one.
To mount this switch on the board over here, I just 3D printed this little mount and it installs with two screws. If you're thinking ahead, you might be wondering what is the suction at the end here after going through this small diameter pipe into the big one and then all the way back over to the dust collector. And it's really not that good, which isn't all that surprising. This overarm dust collector works really well on a shop vac that's got really high suction and this system really can't provide that. So what I've installed today is really just a stepping stone for ultimately what I want to make next is a dedicated vacuum or kind of like a booster to add a lot of suction right here at the overarm dust collector and then exhaust that into the main dust collection system and let my main dust collector collect the dust and use the filter. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to watch, make sure to subscribe so that you can see that video next as that's going to be the next thing that I work on. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.